All right, my first graders, since it's finally getting warm outside, we had a beautiful weekend, I thought it would be fun to make a sandcastle. So this is an example made by one of my first graders last year, so I know you guys can do an awesome job on this. All right, for today we're talking about texture. Now, we gotta think about the texture in the water. You might have this smooth shape on the beach ball, this rough shape on the starfish, this grainy look of the sand. And my friend from last year didn't quite add it, but we can add some dots in the sand to really make it have some texture. And think about it, these round lines kind of show how the ball is nice and silky and smooth. And again, the dots to show the bumps in our starfish. All right, let's get started. To begin, at the bottom of your paper, we're going to start by making a couple layers of sand. So I'm gonna make a line that comes down, little bump here, and then another line over here. If you wanna make that big beach ball, like I had in my picture, you start by making a curved shape. The objects that are closest to you are gonna be bigger. So the beach ball is gonna look a little bit bigger than it really should. From here, I'm gonna make lines. You're gonna make curved lines all from the same point. They're all coming from that dot right there. Down, and then I start to curve it the other way when I go to over here. When you color it, you're gonna alternate white, red, white, red. So we have a nice beach ball. All right, I might have a sand pail coming over here. It's a little further away, but I start with two lines, slightly diagonal. A curve over here. I can put some small lines here to show that my beach pail's round. And it makes it look kind of like a shadow. And a handle going up. I'm gonna make another line coming over here. That's our other layer of sand. You can put the starfish or any other details wherever you want. I'm gonna have it over here. And again, as we go back, everything gets a little bit smaller. So my starfish, I'm gonna show you a trick. Here's my starfish, but I'm gonna show you guys a trick that makes it super, super easy to make a starfish. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to make that star shape. So what you do is you use a pencil, make those normal stars. Hopefully you guys can see this. Make it nice and dark. The normal stars that we usually do in pencil. And then, do it lightly though, I just do a curved line all the way there, around there. And you go back and you erase the regular star shape with your pencil and you have the starfish shape. So that might hopefully that helps you out a little bit. All right, back to our picture. Our starfish, they have a bigger dot in the middle for its mouth. We wanna make some texture. To make some lines. This is where our sand is going to be, so if you guys want to come, make some dots in the sand. Now you guys should all be doing this in pencil first. I just do it in marker for my examples, but if you want to go back later with the markers to do these dots, that's fine too. Okay. All right, for the next part, we want to actually get started with our sand castle. So, our sand castle starts with a tower at the bottom. I'm gonna make two lines. And then we have this castle-like top to our sand castle. It's just squares, line, square, line, square, line, all the way across. Our next layer, we're gonna do a tower on this side Make it a little thinner than that bottom line. Again, square line, square line. But this one's a little bit smaller because that tower is different. All right, my next piece, I'm gonna make two lines coming through here. Square line, square line. And I'm gonna do a set of steps. Coming through. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always stop the video and draw along with it. You don't have to keep up with my pace. Next, the top of our sandcastle. 
I'm gonna do another little piece here. This is the top of my tower. This one's gonna have a curved line at the top and make a very pointy one. All right, coming off the top of each, I could put a little flag. It's kind of like an oval with a point. Makes it kind of fun. I'm gonna add a doorway at the bottom and I'm gonna shade this later, but for now I'll just make lines so you know where it's shaded. You can make these openings any color you want. I'm gonna do three over here. And then one big one here. If you wanna show a little more detail over here, you can maybe show a shell Coming out of the sand, it's a circle with two lines. And I'll do lines coming out like that. You see the little seashell that I put? Now it has to be smaller than the seahorse because it's going a little further back. Okay, you can add another one on the other side if you want, or you can make more like a clamshell, which is just like round. I kind of made the same scallop one, but that's okay. All right. The sand castle is going to be in piles of sand, but then we have the waves coming here and then the sky. In the picture I showed you, we had some clouds. Do some puffy clouds. That adds a little more texture to our picture. If you want, we could do those bird shapes. We all know those crazy seagulls that are all over us on the beach. And all it is is an upside down W. Right? Pretty good. All right. And you have your drawing. Now, you are ready to color. When you color, I would suggest, like my friends over here, that you use maybe a tan color, or if you don't have a tan, a yellow for the sand. If you have paint, it might be kind of fun to paint the sky or the water. But notice how there are two different shades of blue. If you do the same shade of blue, you can't tell which is the water and which is the sky. So. You could have done it any way you wanted and you could have made it like a sunset and done pretty reds, orange, and yellow in the sky as well to make it kind of fun. All right, for the sand castle, I would do that tan color or that yellow and then do some brown in those darker parts of the castle where it's shadowed. The beach ball, the starfish, and the flags. Of course, you can make whatever colors you want. And it looks like we have some stormy skies here, but I'd probably leave those clouds white. You wanna add a sun, you can add a sun and any other details. Hope you guys have fun making your sandcastle. Thank you.